It's not always easy to get excited about business laptops, but I'm pretty excited about this new one I've been trying out. It is the HP EliteBook X G1A. Now this is a Copilot Plus PC, but Unlike previous ones I've looked at, this is an AMD powered Copilot Plus PC, whereas previously they all had Qualcomm Snapdragon chips in them. Now you're starting to see Copilot Plus PCs with AMD and Intel chips. And this one's particularly notable because it's an AMD Ryzen 9 HX, which I think is a pretty powerful processor to have in a 14 inch business laptop. And that also gives you access to an NPU, a neural processing unit. And this one actually has 55 tops. That's a measurement of how much uh, processing AI processing locally a system can do. And if you're using AI, there's a good chance that you're doing a mix of local AI, things that are running right here on the system, and cloud-based AI, like going to chat GPT and stuff like that. And that's why you need that NPU and those tops to make sure that you can run AI stuff locally as well as in the cloud. And there are lots of reasons why people would want to do that. Pretty slick looking for a business laptop, fairly compact, 14-inch screen, very thin bezels. It's a little bit on the uh, heavy, dense side, but feels very sturdy. When I started playing around with this new Elite Book, the first thing that jumped out at me was, wow, I really like this keyboard. Wide flat top keys, kind of a soft touch finish to the keyboard, which I always like. And frankly, for someone like me who wears gigantic glasses, the fact that the letters on the keyboard are really, really big gives it a nice little visual polish, makes it easy to see. It's also a backlit keyboard. And the touchpad, which is an actual click down click pad, not a haptic one. You can actually click, physically click down on it, which is something you don't see as often anymore. A lot of laptops are moving to these haptic pads that don't really physically depress. You also get, and this is something that you usually only find in business or commercial laptops these days, a pretty decent selection of ports. Over on this side, you've got HDMI, you've got two USB-Cs, you've even still got an audio jack. Fortunately, laptops have not gotten rid of the audio jacks yet. And over on the other side, you've got a USB-A and a USB-C. And note that two of these USB-Cs are also Thunderbolt ports, so you can have high throughput through those. Overall, a pretty decent collection for a 14-inch laptop. You've also got this 14-inch display that is 1920 by 1200 and it's a matte screen finish on here, which I really like. I've started to use a lot more laptops recently that have matte screen finishes, uh, and I find it's just a lot easier to see what you're doing. You don't get a lot of glare on the screen, especially for a professional laptop. I think that's my new preference. Let's talk some more about what makes this laptop special, and that's the AI features built in, uh, including the ones powered by that AMD Ryzen 9 CPU. Now, the most notable thing is HP's AI Companion app. That is a custom AI app, and I'm gonna call it up right here. And this gives you access to different ways to interact with AI. This is actually using Chat GPT 4.0, which normally to get any decent amount of usage from, you'd have to pay for a Chat GPT subscription, but your use here is included with the uh, with the HP AI Companion app. So it's got three modes. It's got this discover mode where you can just do a standard AI you know query and get a response back. Then it's got this analyze mode, which is more for adding documents and then asking the AI specific questions about those documents. So you can take your materials and just you know dive into them and not have to worry about uploading them to an online AI service, have it hallucinate stuff, have it you know look online for other, it's just restricted to this document. And I really like that, especially when I'm diving into some data. And lastly, there's a tab here that's called Perform. And this is interesting because it can actually do things on the laptop for you if you ask it to, like if I said, turn down my brightness 50%, it just went and did it for me. Yes, you can do that yourself through the keys, but it's interesting that you have the ability to actually make changes on the system uh, just by asking for them here, especially if you don't know where the button or the shortcut for something is. And if you want to double check and see what AI model you're using, uh, there's an FAQ page, and I like that uh, it tells you what model it's using right here. This model is currently running HP Companion uh, using GPT-4.0, and they might change that model at some point, but I like that you can find that information fairly easily. Easily. Now, another thing that is going to make use of the NPU on here is HP's Polycam app, which is used for you know webcam usage in whatever apps you're using to do your web meetings, and it has a bunch of extra features built in. I'm calling it up right here so you can see me right on the screen, and there's a whole bunch of you know different backgrounds and different overlays you can use. You can put your name up here. You can add a little watermark. Uh, I have this version going. I've got my name up at the top here, and I've got my title right down there. And what I 
I like to do is I like to take this window and I'm going to put it up here on this side. And then I'm going to take the uh, uh, performance monitor from Windows and I'm going to put it over here and go down to performance. You can see when I started playing around here with the Polycam app, the NPU usage started to spike because it's using that to do the background blurring. It's using that to do the automatic tracking. You can see right there, if I move my head a little bit, it's gonna do some subtle tracking to keep me in frame. And this is an example of something where you're using that onboard NPU in those tops to actually do something more than you could do with a regular webcam app. Because it's a commercial system, you also get HP's uh, security suite. They call that Wolf, and that has a lot of extra stuff built in, you know, malware protection, threat containment, it can scan and monitor your files. It's a nice bit of extra protection to have, and your organization may require an extra level of security, especially if you're using this with your business. All that aside, I think it's really interesting that you've got that AMD Ryzen 9 HX CPU in there, and that includes a pretty decent integrated GPU. So you're gonna get very strong application performance here. And you could, for example, even though this is not a gaming laptop, you could run you know, Cyberpunk 2077 on like medium to medium high settings and probably get about 30 frames per second out of that. And if you're traveling with this laptop, as I am, because I brought it here with me to Micro Center headquarters to shoot this video, and it's the only laptop I brought with me, and I've used it in the airport, on the plane, in an Uber, in my hotel, in different offices here around the Micro Center campus. Uh, it's got a 75 watt hour battery, which should give you, you know, at least 10 to 12 hours of regular use without having to plug in. So I appreciate that. And those are some of the reasons why I'm really enjoying my testing time with this, the HP EliteBook X G1A. Thank <laughs> you.